many recipes on how to make cavatelli for wheat based flour. Some people just add flour and water. Some add flour, water, and eggs or ricotta cheese. So seeing how I can't use any wheat based flour, I'm going to be using the recipe that I used to make the gluten free fettuccine. In that recipe you'll have tapioca flour, brown and white rice flour, millet flour, potato starch, xanthan gum, room temperature eggs, olive oil, and salt. I'll put all the measurements and ingredients down below. Measure all your dry ingredients into a food processor and pulse it for a few seconds so everything is combined. Whisk together the eggs and the olive oil and you're going to slowly pour this through the chute of the food processor. I'll show you what it looks like after it's mixed. As you can see this is a dry and crumbly pasta at this point. I'm now going to begin adding water one tablespoon at a time through the chute. I only had to add three tablespoons of the water. As you can see, this is a nice Play-Doh consistency. I'm now going to let this mix for one to two minutes. The dough formed a nice ball around the blade. I'm now going to place it on the counter and knead it for a moment. I placed the dough on my counter. It's not sticky, so I didn't have to add any flour, but if it does get sticky, just add a little flour. I'm going to knead this for one minute. Feels great. I covered the dough with some plastic wrap. I'm now going to let it rest for 30 to 40 minutes. The dough has been resting for about 40, 45 minutes. I placed it on a wooden cutting board that I put a little bit of rice flour on it. I'm going to use a bench scraper or you can use a knife to cut a piece of the dough. I'm now going to cover the remaining dough back on the plastic so that it doesn't dry out. Now I'm going to start to roll out the dough. This rolls out very easily. I'm going to roll it to about a quarter inch thick. Okay, that's about right. Now I'm going to either use, you can use your knife or the bench scraper and cut them into about one inch pieces. I'm going to continue with this and show you the next step. Next you take the little pieces of dough and roll them out to about one and a half inches. You want to try and keep them the same thickness. I don't have it perfected to the same length, but you want them the same thickness so that they will cook evenly. And then to form the cavatelli, I'm going to be using a gnocchi board. So you place the cavatelli on the board using a bench scraper, press into the back of the cavatelli, push and roll. Push in and roll. Very simple. So as you can tell, you can see the nice marks from the gnocchi board. There's the crease in the back and the hole. I'm now going to place these on a flour cookie sheet and I'm going to continue making the rest of them. If you don't have a gnocchi board you can use your bench scraper. Just place it into the back of the dough, push, drag and roll. And you can see there's the crease with the hole. Or you can do the same with the butter knife. Just place the knife in and roll. And there you go. I like to keep the gnocchi board sideways to me when I'm working. So again, just push it into the back of the dough. Push, drag, and roll. Push, drag, and roll. Very easy. You can do them really fast. It doesn't take very long to do these. So I'm going to continue with all my dough. This is lots of fun. I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. My cavatelli are all done. We're not eating for about another hour to an hour and a half. So to keep them fresh, I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap. You can also take the cookie sheet and place it in the freezer. Once they get frozen, place them in a Ziploc bag to cook at another time. As you can tell, 
they're not all uniform in length but they're pretty much consistent on the thickness and they sure were a lot of fun to make on a footnote I definitely like using a wooden cutting board to help roll out the dough because of the grain of the wood it made it really easy to roll the dough so I'll show you what these look like once they cook bring a large pot of water to a boil and add some salt then add the cavatelli give them a stir and boil them until they're done you don't want to overcook them depending on what size you make them will depend on how long they take to cook so I'm going to check them in about five minutes to see how they're doing the pasta took eight minutes to boil I'm serving it with my homemade sauce I'll put a link down below on how to make that let me just give it a taste it held up beautifully oh that's delicious Hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys.